have just received this box here. I decided to give Starlink a go. Hi, welcome to Terra Trotter. If this is your first time on this channel, I'm Alba Harden and I have been converting this van alongside my dad for the past couple months. I will link the playlist for our conversion here, below, above, everywhere, so you can go and check it out and see what our van used to look like versus what we've gotten, gotten it to now. <laughs> so the plan is for me to live in this van traveling around Europe for the next couple of years and I am a branding specialist and photographer so one thing that was really important for me was the Wi-Fi. It was something that was going around in my head ever since we decided to start converting this van. But if I wasn't doing this line of work I would be very happy with my mobile data. But as I am, like I say, a branding specialist I do a lot of heavy duty work on line on my laptop including things like websites. So I needed some good Wi-Fi. We did, the first thing we tried was something called Connect Please or Connect Plus. It's Connect PLS, I'm not sure exactly how you say it, and it would have been fine if I didn't need high-speed internet. Um, I plan to be in very remote areas. <laughs> I love nature. I Like I said, I'm also a photographer, so I'm really looking forward to capturing some beautiful images. I obviously do want to go and see some town, city, all that stuff, but I re would really love to be in the middle of nowhere. That's kind of my dream. And where I live currently is just outside of town. We're in the countryside, but really not that far away from anything. <laughs> and Connect Please or Plus just wasn't cutting it. It just wasn't... It, it, it was slower than our Wi-Fi here at home, which is already rather slow. So for me, it didn't work. They were, however, really helpful with support and with answering all my questions and really helpful in trying to make it be the best it could be. Unfortunately, it just wasn't it just it just wasn't going to be good enough for me so i have just received this box here i decided to give starlink a go the only reason i was holding off is because of the initial fee of the the equipment in all other aspects it was actually the same price as connect please monthly it's just that initial fee for the equipment is the only thing that it's quite a bit more so I will be actually installing it a different day. Today I just want to set it all up. I'm going to put it up on the roof. I'm going to bring a cable just down the side, connect it all up and see how it works. Hopefully it does work. I've got actually a YouTube video for this channel for today to go up. I've got to upload it. Normally it would take about an hour and a half. I know, an hour and a half. <laughs> to go up using the Wi-Fi here at home. So I'm really excited to set the Starlink up and just see how it is. Try and upload this video, see if it's any faster. Fingers crossed it will be. So yeah, let's open the box up. Our amazing huge table, which yeah, I knew was a must and I just could not be happier with it. So this is the huge box. It looks, just because of the <laughs> perspective, I look absolutely tiny. <laughs> But yeah, this is the box it came in. I tried to get the label off, it didn't really work. Um, I've already opened it, as you can see. It is It is already open. It comes with these huge instructions. I'll put it in the shade so you can see. And then here is... This was also a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. I'm going to lay it on the roof today and see how that works. And then the other bits we have in the box are, so I mean, we've got all the cables. This is the one that goes from the dish, obviously, down into, I believe, the router, which is this. Yes, so that goes plugged into here, and then out of here comes this cable to the power source, which is here. And then the power source goes connected up with this cable. So it seems pretty straightforward. I've got the Starlink app already downloaded. So let's try and connect it all up and see how it goes, I guess. <laughs> the instructions really do seem very straightforward. I'm gonna make sure I do that right. Coffee in a paper cup. Hot the engine starts right up. Clip myself into the middle seat Daddy liked talk radio On gravel he would 
drive real slow. He told me, let's go see what we could see. We pulled into the empty lot before the pavement got too hot. Underneath her leafy crown, the only okay, so everything appears to be connected. Um, there's light now on the router. Um, so it says to go to your Starlight Wi-Fi network in your device setting and come back. It may appear. It may take 30 seconds to appear. So open settings. <laughs> we have it. It's there. <laughs> okay, so connect. I'm actually so Okay, it says it's connected. Starlink paired successfully. Your iPhone, your phone is connected to Starlink. Next, let's get your Starlink connected to the internet and optimize your setup. Let's let's press continue. See what happens. Starlink is powering on. Oh my goodness! So it's booting. Is that how you say that? Booting. Yeah, that sounds weird. <laughs> okay, so now what I've got to do is I've got to configure the Wi-Fi. So. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I've got to do this or I think it's just to make it safer. So it's just asking me to put in a network name and a password um, just to make it easier, I guess. So we'll just go ahead and do that. I've decided to call the Wi-Fi Terror Trotter just because that way people see it, you know, it links up. <laughs> so Terror Trotter is going to be the network name. I'm so bad at passwords. Okay, after far too much time, I have come up with a password. So now we're going to submit. So applying settings, so it says Wi-Fi is reloading to apply your network settings. This takes about one minute. Okay. Connect to Terra Trotter. I'll connect to Terra Trotter. <laughs> Join. So it is doing all the things. It is connecting, it is calculating orientation. Because it's trying to, it says it's talking to satellites to determine which way it's pointing. I could tell it which way it's pointing. <laughs> Determining alignment. It's doing it all right now. It's saying that all this can take up to 15 minutes. So we're gonna let it do its thing. I'm gonna go grab my computer and hopefully by the time I come back it'll be almost done and I can try I can actually try it to upload a YouTube video, which like I say it normally takes me about an hour and a half. So this is very exciting. I'm very excited. <laughs> so I'm back. So it says it's online and then it's downloading an update. It's on 33%. So this is what it looks like. So it's on 97% and I just remembered as I was putting the cable in, I saw that it said made in the US, um, planet Earth. And I just thought that is so Starlink, <laughs> so Starlink. Oh my God, it's a hundred. Okay. So now what happens now that it's got into a hundred? I think that was the last, I think that was it just installing the latest update for it. And the, de the determining location is still loading. That is, that is what said that it could take up to 15 minutes, so I'm not worried. Alright, so my computer's on. It's obviously not connected to any internet because I'm in the middle of nowhere. So I'm going to try and connect to the Starlink and see if it works. We are connected. We definitely have progress. So it's a different day and we received the mount. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're just gonna try and get it onto the roof. Um, it comes, it seems pretty straightforward. Again, it comes with its little instructions. And then we've got this piece, which is the piece that goes onto the roof like this so that it will be sat at an angle. It has kind of a something under here to make it stick to the roof better. Not stick, but you know, have friction with the roof better and then it just comes with a little box of screws it comes for it's the same mount either for um campers and for boats so it comes with options for both and a little allen key so yeah that's what's in the box and we're going to try and mount it onto our van now As you can see, this is the place that we finally decided to actually put the Starlink on. We thought it would be the most secure as it was in between a skylight and a 
uh, solar panel and the camera actually ran out of battery so we didn't record the putting the cable through the roof down into the van but we thought that was pretty self-explanatory so we just thought we would put this up anyway so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed setting up our starlink <laughs> with us we are really happy with how it's been working so far so i hope to see you around soon and aside from that have a great sunday <laughs> bye <laughs>